Hi everyone, Kerry here, and I actually get quite a few questions regarding what is my V3 drive uh, now that I've released the V1 to the club. And the V3 is essentially an evolution of the V1, and it's not that in the end it turned out to be that much better, it's probably 5% better than the V1, but it's one of those things where I just like to tweak and engineer and try new stuff and try to make things better. In the end, the design is radically different with a marginal difference in performance. And the V1, I think we've gotten it to the point where, in my opinion, it's extremely good. I mean, it, it drives and can drive just like the stage droid, really smooth and really nice. So going from the V1 to the V2, now to the V3, uh, it's, it's a marginal improvement. Um, the V3, you will notice that the design is radically different from the V1. And what I mean by that is if you look at things like the, uh, the head mast area, it's very small and compact, uh, and I've done that to reduce moving mass. The BMM, uh, this is actually not a halo mount, this is one I've been running for over a year now. Uh, this is different because this is 9E's drivetrain, and I needed to have a different configuration to make it so the head would roll over the grills. The center box is all aluminum, including all the main supports and everything underneath. Uh, one thing you will notice that's radically different is I'm not spinning a lead weight when I'm spinning is my battery packs. So that allows me to reduce the overall weight of the drivetrain while keeping the amperage high on the batteries so I can run for a really long time. And now I'm actually spinning or trying to move around less static weight. Static weight would be anything that isn't spinning uh, when you go to spin the drive. Uses a lot of the similar things as the V1 the same motors, the same servos, I'm actually using the same gyro setup, uh, I'm using the same Sabertooth motor controller and things like that. Uh, I want to say as far as electronically, the only real difference between this one and the V1 would be I have a different uh, remote control uh, motor cut, and that's only because I needed higher voltage. Uh, but beyond that, it's the exact same. This one does have remote control integration, which will be brought to the V1 at some point. We're actually currently working on that. So you'll notice what I actually have here is I have, it's an off-the-shelf remote, but it's been modified. So that way I have one stick over here, which I can rotate and fully control the head on one stick, and then the other stick does everything for the drive. So it just allows me to have very smooth movements. As a matter of fact, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and hop out of the shot, and I'll go ahead and take a little bit of video. If you uh, have any questions, just go ahead and PM me or comment on this video and uh, let me know. So like I said, I have full head movement. It is very fluid. Same thing with spinning. And then we have side to side tilt. And this is all stabilized and gyro control. We can spin. Then I can roll forward and back. Now the other thing I can do is I can have the driver go forward, but I can independently control the head. So if you look right now, I'm actually using two sticks. So if I want to, I can flip a switch, and what this will do is this will set it so the head now works with the drive, so the head will stay on top as I'm driving automatically. I don't have to control it independently. So I now essentially, if I don't want to be playing with the head, I have one-handed operation moving around where I don't have to actually control the head itself. So from there, it does have, as I showed you before, spin on spot. And let me get it to a standpoint here, so you could actually see. Quite fast. Uh, it is a 1600 RPM motor, which has been geared uh, differently to go ahead and give me the speed. I can actually get almost unlimited turns on a hard surface such as tile, and I can usually get about three and a half rotations on a short surface, or, or short carpet, I should say.
Otherwise, that's it. If you have any questions, uh, just go ahead and comment on the thread or send me a PM. Take care. Bye.